One cup of tea, Sergeant Bandstand. Sergeant Bandstand? Did he find his band then? Well, I suppose he must have done, because here's another clue. Well, I might as well drink this myself. So what we've got to find is a counting song with a dog in it. Hello, Mr Jolly. Oh, hello, Morgan. Mr Jolly, did you call for a dog? Oh, it's just that I think there's one in Rosie's puzzle. There's one in the story too. Oh. Can you guess who it is? Uh, no. It's me! Uh... Oh, well, we better take a look then. Professor Mop and Morgan! The air was crisp and cold and clear as the plastic fantastic transporter landed at the polar ice cap. Out got Professor Mop and his friend Morgan. The North Pole should be just over there. The North Pole? What's that? It's the northern end of the world. And it should be right here. Oh dear, it's not here. You mean the North Pole is missing? Can I help you at all? Said a voice. Who said that? I did. Said the voice. Why can't we see you? Because I'm the same colour as this iceberg, and I'm standing in front of it. And sure as sugar, there in the snow stood a magnificent white bear. They call me Lola the Polar Bear. You two look pretty lost. Yes, well, you see, Lola, we're looking for a North Pole, and either it's missing or... The North Pole is missing? Oh, my goodness! We've got to find it. Yes, I agree. I think I'll use my latest invention, the magnetic path pointer. What does it do? The arrow on the path pointer always points north, so it's that way. Follow me. So Professor Mop, Morgan and Lola the Polar Bear set off in that direction. <laughs> too far. This way. We've already been here. Look! The arrow! What does it mean, Professor? It ought to mean that we're at the North Pole. But I can't see it. Can you, Lola? <laughs> but instead of answering, the polar bear started to giggle and then to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, you see, the reason we can't see the North Pole is the same reason you couldn't see me. Because, because it's, it's the, the same, same colour as, as the snow. snow. Sure as salt, there stood the North Pole, white as snow, with a white flag flying from it. So the North Pole isn't missing after all. Professor, why don't we build a snowman next to it? I'll give him my scarf to wear, then everyone will be able to see it. Splendid idea, Morgan. Everything looked very white, so the North Pole disappeared from sight. Couldn't find it anywhere. White on white is hard to see, but if you all look carefully, you might see Lola, the polar bear, and, and the North Pole, Pole, and the snowman. Mr Jolly, Mr Jolly, we thought of a game. A counting game. Oh, good. How does it go? Well, we call a number, and you do the action. Oh, well, what do you mean? If we call one, then you play a drum. All right. Ready? Ready? One. one. Bang a drum. Boom, boom, boom. And if we call two, you stamp your shoe. Two. two. One, two. Stamp your shoe for two. For three, you have to grow up tall like a tree. All right. Ready? Three. three. Being tall oh, like a tree. On, Mr. Jolly. Okay, it's tall. Nice and tall. Nice and Being tall. tall. For four, you knock on the door. Oh, knock on the door. Four. <laughs> Come in. Not very funny, <laughs> Morris. Hey, what do I do for five? I can't be a hive. No, you have to be a bee. Buzzing around the hive. Oh, right, bees then. Five. Five. Very good. Now Rosie can play some music and we'll call the numbers. You have to do the right actions to the music. Take it away, Rosie. Ready? Two. Two. What's two? Two. Two. One. Step two. One is um, drum. Seven. Bang the drum. Boom. Four. 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 Knock at the door. Three. Three. Uh, what? Like a tree. Tree. Five. Five. Five is a bee. Two. Two is a bee. Two. Two. Four. Knock on the door. Three. 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 Uh, three. three. Four. Three. Three. Five. Five. Five again. Five again. One. One. Oh, oh. Three. Goodness gracious, what was that? It was me, Mr. Jolly. Oh, so it was. I found it. Found what? Your clue. Oh, what is it? Well, it's... 
Oh, see if you can guess. It's someone who... Is it uh, someone who, who goes very slowly? Yes, that's oh. right. And he's got a... Yes, that's right. A... Oh, what's one of those? Oh. Is someone with a beard, Mr. Yes. Jones? So it's someone who goes very slowly mm -hmm. and someone with a beard. Do you know who it is? It's just an old man. Yes, that's right. Look. It is an old man with a long beard and it's our last clue. Can we guess the song now? I don't see why not. Come on then, Rosie, let's see all your clues. So there's the old man. And and uh, and the dog, and um, oh, there's one, one the drum, and two, and three the tree, and four the door, and five is the hive of bees. So it's definitely a counting song with an old man and a dog in it. Do you know what the song is? Do you? This old man. Yeah. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. Woof! This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played too. He played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. Woof! This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack. My tree. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. Woof! This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. Woof! This old man came rolling home. This old man. He played five, he played knick-knack on my hive. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. Woof! This old man came rolling home. Counting song. We were right. Did you guess it? Let's have a look in the songbook. Oh yeah, it's all in there now. One, two, three, four, five. There's the old man and the dog. Why don't you try counting and perhaps doing the actions? Let's have a go now, shall we? One, drum. Boom, 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 boom. Two, chew. Three, grow up like a tree. Four, knock at the door. Come in. Five buzzing bees around a hive. Oh, there's the bus. I better buzz off. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>